The Cathedral of Notre Dame or Our Lady of Paris represents the French Gothic style in all its splendor. Notre Dame Church began to be built in the year 1163, and since then, it is a fundamental reference of Western culture. Therefore, this cathedral is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Catalog. After more than 850 years of existence, Notre Dame has persisted as a living space. Its spiritual functions have remained intact, while it has received an average of 20 million visitors each year, at least until the unfortunate fire on April 15, 2019, which forced the temporary cessation of its functions for restoration. History of Notre Dame Church The Notre Dame Church is located on the Little Lausite Island, the nucleus from which the Celtic Paris germinated and later the Roman and medieval city. It is known that this Gothic temple was built on the site of numerous earlier buildings, including a Roman temple dedicated to Jupiter. That is a high medieval church of the 6th century with the name of saint Etienne and another Romanesque. The current building was built from 1163, being the most notable of the French buildings of early Gothic. Without financing problems, the works advanced very quickly, reaching the western façade around the year 1200, while the towers were completed in the middle of the 13th century. However, the constructive tasks continued advancing well into the 14th century. One of the most tragic moments for the cathedral in Paris was the deteriorations perpetrated during the French Revolution, which were followed by the radical restorations of the mid-19th century and starring Jean-Baptiste Lassus and Violet le Duc. Before 19th century restorations and reconstructions, numerous sculptural elements of the cathedral were frightfully destroyed or mutilated by the revolts of the French Revolution. It must be remembered that Paris was the center of the revolution. Notre Dame is located next to the royal palace and was also closely linked to the family of the French monarchs, for which it received important aggressions in that historic event. In addition to reconstructing and restoring a large part of the lost sculpture, including its fanciful and famous gargoyles, various parts were modified and added. The completion of the works coincided with the restructuring of the island of Losite by Baron Osman who suppressed the entire old quarter, isolating Notre Dame behind an immense atrium. Notre Dame is both the place of recollection and prayer which they wanted to be its first builders and that of the great religious and national events for the French community. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Notre Dame was the theater of the solemn acts of the greatness of royalty, victories, funerals, etc. But the Gothic inspiration had already been extinguished and they did not hesitate to replace the large stained glass windows with other white more luminous. In the 20th century, Notre Dame continues to enjoy great prestige, the successive ministries contribute to the essential works for their conservation. As the Cathedral of France was where the victory was celebrated, at the end of the two great world wars. That's where funerals are held in honor of the heads of state. Characteristics of Notre Dame Cathedral The Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral was built in the middle of narrow streets and many houses, nothing to do with the open space that surrounds it today. Any mortal who came to the door of his house before the 19th century immediately feels the incontestable grandeur of that mass full of symbols, legends, and stories. Therefore, the first highlight of this work is its monumentality and its symbolic power, but in honor of the truth, it used to be Gothic art. With a view of the theocentric world, each space of a Gothic building was diligently taken care of and, although it did not have a function, it received the detailed attention of artisans who believed that God observed them. No wonder the profusion of unique details in each section, even those inaccessible or without a defined purpose. That generation did not care that the human eye saw the details of the effort, it hardly mattered that the Eternal saw it. The mentality of its builders was this to give all dignity to the work as an offering to God. That is why a Gothic art is a stone prayer. Architecture The Notre Dame Church is in a voluminous temple with a Latin cross plan. It has a large church body with five naves plus side chapels. The wide transept is located almost half the length of the ships and stands out little in the plan. The main chapel is surrounded by a double nave ambulatory. As for the elevation, it must be said that it participates in the characteristics of other early Gothic temples, with its three characteristic floors. First level, Arcos Formeros pointed on huge columns. Second level, Grandstand communicated with the central nave through three pointed spans enveloped by a larger one, in each section. Third level, clear story with windows consisting of a double pointed span and a circular upper one. Being all beautiful and balanced, we must highlight the beauty of its platform, specifically its slender arches and thin columns. However, this podium is maintained at Notre Dame by the inertia of the Romanesque world or by aesthetics because here it no longer fulfills supporting functions. 
The reason is that in this church, the exterior flying buttresses are born that take care of this function of propping up the lateral thrusts of the vaults of the central ship. The Sculpture of Notre Dame The sculpture of Notre Dame is of extraordinary quality given the importance that Paris had in the 13th century as the center of the kingdom where the best teachers came. Here was the court which possessed artistic initiative and was able to attract the best artists, be they architect, sculptors, glassmakers, miniaturists, etc. The study of the sculpture of Notre Dame Church is of great importance to know the iconography and style of European Gothic sculpture, since it will be a reference and model for many later works, not only in France. Paris became a center of artistic training of the first order where apprentices from all over Europe came after these trained artists moved to other places following the model of Notre Dame. 